Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Coach O'Connor with some more tips, tricks, and drills to help you succeed and do better at tryouts. So we've talked about bunting to get some extra points at tryouts. The three types of bunts that we covered, sacrifice bunt, sneaky bunt, and the drag bunt. Then we talked about uh, how to succeed against the pitching machine in the cage. We gave you some good tips and some good drills to, uh, to make things easier for you against the machine. But the other thing that coaches want to see is they want to see power. So not only do they want to see good soft bunts, good mechanics, but they want to see good power. They want to see how dangerous, how aggressive of a hitter you can be. So now I'm going to do a little series on how you can improve your power to show the coaches that you are a dangerous hitter. So what we're going to start with is a good launch position. So you have to have a good launch position before you can attack the ball. So what is a launch position? That is the position that your body ends up in after your load and step. It's the last thing that you do before you start to rotate and attack the ball. So essentially it's after you load and step when your front foot lands, that's your launch position. It has to be strong, it has to be aggressive, and it has to be pretty similar to all of the greatest hitters. You'll notice that a lot of great hitters, they start out in weird positions with their stance down here or up here, but all the best hitters end up in a really similar launch position. So how do we get to that good, strong launch position? It starts with the load and the step. So from your stance, when you load your weight back, think about loading into your back leg, not onto it. You don't want your knee to get over your foot. You want to stay inside of that back foot. So load your weight into that back leg so you can still spring forward. Now, with your hands and your front foot, they got to do opposite things. So when your foot goes forward, your hands have to go back. So you load your weight into this back leg, and then your foot goes forward, and your hands go back. You notice my head's moving a little bit. It's impossible to keep it still if you're gonna have an aggressive launch position, but you don't want it flopping all around. You wanna keep your eyes level and on the pitcher, because by the time you do this, the ball is coming. So hands go back as the foot goes forward, and so you wanna end up with your the handle of your bat pointed at the catcher. You want the barrel of your bat somewhere up above your head. Front shoulder's a little lower than your back shoulder, and your weight is pretty much centered even though you've moved a little bit on your load and step, you haven't collapsed your front leg, you haven't transferred your weight forward, and your head didn't fly forward. So once you are in this good launch position, you also want to make sure that you have uh, a good lean in your waist. So you want to be at about 20 to 30 degrees this way. You don't want to stand straight up. Okay, and once your foot lands, you can't change this angle you can't change your weight transfer. That's got to be your finishing position. All that's left to do after you find this good launch position is start to rotate. Hips and then hands. So finding a good strong launch position is the first step in becoming a strong powerful hitter.